Bible talks about praise coming from the ends of the earth. And that's exactly where we are. New Zealand, Aotearoa. And so tonight, it is our honour to fulfil the words of Isaiah 24, 16, which says, from the ends of the earth, to the Glory Tabernacle Healing and Deliverance Prayer Line together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. We are now in the portion of sharing the word, and before I call on Sister Cynthia, I would like to call on Sister Claire to open up in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. Lord, we ask, Lord God, for your anointing on Sister Cynthia as she brings forth the word, Lord God. Lord, anoint her lips, Lord, and let us hear from you through her tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Michael and Sister Cynthia. Yes. <clears throat> Amen. Good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hallelujah. Tonight, we're going to look at a message. Are you hearing me clearly? Yes. We're going to look at a message. God is not amongst us. When, when not amongst us. And shall we go to our Bibles, to Deut Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 17. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 31 and verse 17, it reads, Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not amongst us? Amen. The word of God came to, just before Moses was taken away into glory, God called him and Joshua and charged them and let them know what was ahead, at least Joshua, that he should not be surprised as what is going to befall the nation that God had brought, brought over from Egypt when Moses is no more. And God is saying here, because God is omniscient, God can say this, to them that what they are about to do will displease him and his anger shall be kindled against them in that day. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, O Lord and O God, we want to just thank you again for another day when we can come before you, Lord, and, and study your word, O God, and hear what you have to say, O God, especially in these last days. We thank you, O God, that you have prepared for us tonight. And so, Holy Spirit, we invite you, the teacher, the counselor, and the guide, to come and take control. I put myself behind the cross, and I pray that you would use my lips, anoint my lips, and speak through my lips to your people. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> amen. 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 Yes. So we just read Deuteronomy 17 where God charged Moses and Joshua and let them know what is ahead of them. Now, what has just been read here, when we look around us today, find more than ample examples of this, of this statement. We can say of ourselves, when God is not amongst us, when God is not amongst us, there are some landmarks, I may put it, that are evident in any society, in any nation, amongst any people. For one, the lack of religious instructions in the Christian faith, in, in schools to the younger generation. For one, lack of religious instructions, that is, faith in schools to the younger generation. Two, the society, a society that no more has a trust in God for its ultimate source of dependence. Three, we have a society that believes and trusts in themselves and technology. Fourth, there is the absence of, of holding up moral codes. 
And so and the aftermath of that is great disobedience. In our society today, we say, if it feels good, do it. But not so with God. God never says if it feels good, do it. And we who say, whenever we say, if it feels good, do it, has a negative connotation. connotation. Hear what the Word of God has to say about that. When we look in the book of Ecclesiastes 1214, we see that God shall bring everything into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And Paul had this to say to the Corinthians, Second Corinthians five ten. For we must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. So do it because it feels good is a much deception, is a big deception. A deception that should be avoided at all costs. Not if it feels good, you do it. This is what <clears throat> our dying nation today needs to heed and say, our God is not amongst us. We can say it safely. God is not amongst us in this nation. Why? For we have gone a warring. We have gone after several other gods except the one true God that Abraham discovered. We have left the straight way, the way of holiness and righteousness, righteous living. We have left that way. We deny God's peace and power that comes only through obedience to his will. Today, not only it, if it feels good, do it. Today, we call evil good. We call, we call good evil and evil good. Isaiah says it in 520. So you go a war and then we go also a warring after the several new versions of God's word the Bible. All this I'm giving to you are landmarks of a nation, of people who do not have God when God is not amongst them. We go after warring after several versions of God's word, the Bible. Yet, the Bible warns us to remove, to not remove the ancient landmarks which our fathers here set before us. Proverbs twenty two twenty eight. And God is saying, I will forsake them. I will hide my face, and they shall be devoured. Evils and troubles shall befall them. Can you tell me when we look around us today in our society that much of this is not evident? All of what the Bible says in the Old Testament to the prophets is very much evident with us today. We have left the ancient landmarks. We've gone astray. We do what we feel because it feels good. And so... God is saying here in his word that you are going to be judged. God says that you are going to be judged on that great day. So it's left to you. Let's see what it says again. Today, 
and we look into the book of Romans, chapter 3 and verses 10, it is written there, is none righteous. There is none. No, not one. And you know, we can safely say that today. The righteous amongst us today, a few, the majority of peoples are gone after the world. The word of God says they have become unprofitable. And the verse 12 says, not one doeth good. Now when God gave the charge to Moses and Joshua, which is in Deuteronomy 31, 14, God had known the hearts of his people. After all, God is omniscient. He can see ahead of them. He knew that they were fallible. He knew that they would succumb to the practices obtained in the other nations. God knew that they would forget the God of their covenant or their Father's covenant. So each one of us, God knows us by our names. Somewhere in the Bible it lets us know that God knows every strand of hair on your head. God knows you inside out. And so when you took that covenant agreement with him, he knows whether or not when you are confronted or when you are challenged by other doctrines, how you're going to respond, whether you're going to be hot or cold or lukewarm or a compromiser and say, this is okay, this is all right. That used to be for yesterday. That is no more. But that is never so. We have left the straight way, the way of holiness and righteousness. And we deny peace, God's peace and power in our lives. We move not the ancient landmarks, the word of God tells us. And today we have got so many translations of the Holy Word of God that have people confused. Those who are supposed to come in, they are confused and they come in with questions. Why this? Why that? But if only the pure and adulter unadulterated Word of God is given to them, there will be no such foolish questions as they ask. Today we have so many translations. Why this? God's word is not to bend down to any man. Man has, God gave his word. He gave us his laws and commandments to follow. He gave us the blueprint of life. We have to go by what his word says, not wanting his word to adapt to our generation. Did God not know that the generation as we have right now today was going to evolve, God knew. God knew this. But he didn't put his word to be adapted to a, a, a particular culture of the day, a particular behavior, a particular slang or saying of the day. No. The Bible says, eat what you find. Not the ancient landmark of our forefathers. What was given to them and was laid down there is what we must go by. There's no such thing as new translation and this and that. Totally ridiculous. God has given his words. The word, the Bible is not a story book, it's not a history book. It is not a science book. It is a book that's going to prick man's conscience. It's a book that causes self-examination of the soul. There are no other textbooks, there are no books ever written that can cause man to examine his soul. Only the Holy Word of God, because the Word of God is life. And when you read it, God himself, by his Spirit, will speak to your soul and bring about conviction. Do you know of any book that can do such a thing? Any textbook? None. Therefore, we must eat what we find. Leave it as it is. Anyway, this is not my topic tonight. 
I'm talking tonight about when God is not amongst us and when we fail to go according to the word of God, what is the outcome? God says, God says this, God wants them, but when they forget his, to keep his commandments, what is going to happen? And so we today do redeemed when we forget Calvary, when we forget and forsake the cross of Calvary and pursue other pathways, this is what awaits us. God said, my anger shall be kindled against them. And many evils are going to befall them. And then they will turn and say, is God not amongst us? Of course not. But you know, the God that we serve, and it's only God, God is a merciful God. He gives everyone the chance to repent. He gives everyone the chance to come back. That is, we're talking about the redeemed. If you have been there, you have been chosen and you're falling back, or you're weak, you're weakened, you're weakened because you're not reading the Word of God, you're not being fed by the Word of God, you're weakened because the company that you're keeping is not good for you, so you're going back into the world and you're going back into the old ways of living, so you are weak, but God wants, but I will have no pleasure in that. And um, he has no pleasure in that, and he, his anger will be kindled. And so we have many things befalling us, many evils befall us. Sickness, diseases, we are troubled by spirits left and right. We are not, uh, uh, we are not receiving favor with God nor favor with man. Our lives is topsy-turvy. Our lives is no better than the unredeemed. All because we are slack with the covenant we made with God. When we came into salvation, we have to keep it. We have to maintain it. We have to live a sanctified life, a holy life. Without holiness, no man can see God, no matter what they say. You cannot have visions. You cannot commune with God. Your path will not be directed. You are not the blessed that goes in and the blessed that comes out without God and breaking the covenant. But then, the God we serve is a God of mercy. Hear what God says in His mercy. God says, I will come again and be amongst you if you turn away from your wicked ways. Seek my face and I will hear from heaven and will forgive your sin and will heal your land. Second Chronicles 7.14 Isn't that a God? Isn't that a God? He makes a way out. Now we need to know that with all God's promises, there are always conditions. There is nothing that God is giving to you free. The only thing that you get free from God is salvation. Because to be saved, God himself has to save you. God gives you salvation free. And every other gift that there is and every other benefit as an inheritor, there is a price that goes along with it. So we need to know. And God is saying here to them, even though they are his people, and he knew what they are about to do, he says they are going to do it, but I am going to judge them. 
my anger will go out against them, and, and all these evils shall befall them. So what do we do? We must return to our first love. And who is our first love? Jesus the Christ. We need to strike up a relationship with him. We must appreciate Calvary. And so so doing, we need to be ready for his second coming. We must be ready for the rapture also. We must be ready. So if we find when God is not amongst us, this is what we have to revisit Calvary when God is not amongst us. Lest God's anger is kindled against us. Hallelujah. So brethren, this is what I have for you tonight. And so let us pray. We don't want to know that on that great day we are found wanting. We don't want on that great day, not even that, nor right now to know that God is not with us. You don't want to know that God is not with you, that you're not walking with God, and God is not walking with you because of sin, because of disobedience, because you have compromised covenant. You don't want that. You want to go all the way. You want to make it all the way. I want to make it all the way. In fact, I'm looking for a crown, if not many. I want to make it all the way. And so everyone who has been blessed with salvation, it's not everyone. I said salvation is a gift, and it's a gift that God gives to those who he gives, he wants to give. So if you have salvation, it's a gift. Don't play, don't toy with it. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word tonight, O oh Lord. And Father, forbid that you should not be among us, among me, O oh God. Father divine, I pray tonight for all the brethren, O oh Lord, who are listening on this line. I pray that God is um, with them as the people realize then when all the evils and all the troubles were coming upon them, they said, surely God is not with us. Oh, Father God, well, only you alone can judge. But we do know, God, that many troubles and trials and evils that befall many, it's because they have compromised with their covenant agreement. It's because that they are taking Calvary victory slightly. So I pray, Father God, for your mercy, for your forgiveness, for all of us, O oh God, who have transgressed one way or the other. Some of us are expected to do much better than we are doing. Others in ignorance. Our Father, I pray for your mercy for us all, O oh God. Bring us up onto a higher level of faith and trust in you, O oh God. And Lord, you know that if everyone, O oh God, even because your word says that even uh, a grain of salt can save corruption, and so that the few who are really righteous, the few who are your followers, we have enough power, O oh God. We have your power, God power, O oh God to transform dying nations, O oh God, like this one. O oh, Father God, thou art merciful and patient. How I pray, Lord, that your patience will not run out on this nation. How I pray, O oh, Father God, that you will continue to keep your people, Lord, that we are not going to lose faith, O oh God, we are not going to be overcome by what we see or what we hear. And we know that you are God and that you are all powerful and that you did overcome for us. So we too will overcome. No matter what the odds are, we will overcome. Help us to come back to Calvary that we would not have to say when God is not among us. Oh, Father God, be with us. 
we beseech thee tonight. Help us, O oh God, to come closer to you through your word, O oh God, and through the interaction with our, our fellow believers, Lord. Draw us nearer to a cross where we belong. Draw us nearer. So tonight, we just thank you, O oh God, for all these warnings, because we know the signs are in place, and it won't be long before you will return. It won't be long before the rapture takes place. It won't be long before the second coming. Pray, Father God, that all those who are yours will not miss this event. I pray, Father God, that all those who are yet to come in will come in. Thank you, O oh God, for your patience with us. Thank you for mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Thank you for grace. We give you thanks tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Sister Cynthia. Our lesson tonight is from Deuteronomy 31, verse 17. God is not amongst us. When? I want to listen to the full message. Please go to Glory Tabernacle Prayer Meeting dot blogspot dot com. And once again, thank you, Sister Cynthia. God bless you. And uh, we are now in the portion of taking your prayer requests. Once again, this is Glory Tabernacle Prayer Line together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. We are broadcasted globally tonight. And to all our listeners, our intercessors, even the, the silent listeners, the line is open for you. May I have the first prayer request? Anybody on the line with a prayer request? Um, I have a prayer request for Evangelist Mike. For Tuesday will be his 25th wedding anniversary. Thank you. Let's lift him up. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the word that you gave us through Sister Cynthia. And Lord, we pray that the word that was preached, ministered to your people tonight, Lord. Lord, we also want to lift up Evangelist Mike of Consuming Fire Radio, that, Lord, you would bless him and his family as he celebrates his wedding anniversary. Thank you, Lord. And, Lord, we also lift up Glory Tabernacle Church, Pastor Marina and Bishop Mel, that, Lord, you would continue to use them mightily on this prayer line live, Lord, and expand the territory of this ministry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Claire. You're welcome. Happy anniversary, Evangelist, Happy anniversary. to you and to your wife. Anybody else on the prayer line with a prayer request? Let's continue to pray uh, for all those uh, brothers and sisters who used to be being used mightily. And as of now, we haven't heard from them. And I, we pray for all anybody else who are falling away from their faith. Um, we ask the Lord for intervention in their life. And may I call on Sister Lila to, uh, to lift up this prayer request. For those who are falling away, Pastor Marina. Yeah, from their faith. Hallelujah. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight, for the word that you have given us to Sister Cynthia, Lord God. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for your unending love and your faithfulness to all of us, O oh God. We would like to lift up to you, Lord, those people who are uh, falling away from their faith. Uh, you are the only one, Lord, who knows what is in our hearts and what is the cause of all of this, Lord, to uh, the, the fire of of love and the fire that you put in their hearts are, are, are becoming uh, weak, weak, Lord, and the faith is not strong as it used to be. So, Lord, have mercy upon us, O oh God, for those who are losing their trust on you, Lord. May it not be, be Lord God, May their eyes be opened, O oh God. May not, may the enemy stop working, Lord. May the enemy stop uh, blinding their eyes, Lord God. We don't know what is ahead of us, Lord. So please strengthen our faith. Strengthen our trust in you, Lord. May we never falter away from you, Lord God. Strengthen our spirit, Lord. Put more love and compassion, Lord. Have mercy. If the reason is our environment or our families or our financial situation, Lord, or our un being unemployed, Lord, or being attacked by the enemy, Lord, or being sick with other ailments, oh God, all of this, Lord, has, has just one answer, Lord, and it's in you. Please take away all the pain, Lord. Please take away all the hurt aches, Lord. Please take away the misconceptions, Lord. Please take away the misbelief, Lord. Replace it, Lord, with your full trust. Full trust in you, Lord, and confidence in you, Lord God. Please bring back all the people, Lord, who are falling away. Please b bring closer to you, Lord God, those who doesn't know you, Lord. Lord, please open our eyes that there is really a Savior and there is really a God. And there is really eternal life if we look forward and if we will not Remove our faith and our eyes in you, Lord. There is only one way, and it's only you, Jesus. So we give you all our praise, Lord God, and all glory and all the honor, O oh God, in the most precious name of Jesus, your Son, with the presence of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Lai. Mm -hmm. God bless all of us. Bless you. Do you have any prayer requests? Oh, I just uh, want to ask for prayers for my family in the Philippines to to for salvation, Lord, and also to guide them in their everyday life. And to see the truth. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sister Lai. You're welcome. Hallelujah. May I call on Sister Marilyn. Hi, Sister Marilyn. Hi, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we ask you to lift up uh, Sister Lila's prayer request. For salvation to her family. I'll see so family. Uh, my my uh, sister and brother-in-law and the three children. I'll see so family. Thank you. I'll see so. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Heavenly Father, we just come before you tonight. We give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, for you are God, and beside you there is none else. 
And we come to you, Father, to thank you for thank you for this day that you have given us, Father, another day to praise your name. And right now, Father, I thank you for the opportunity to be on this prayer line, Father, and to lift up people who are in prayer. I pray, God, right now for Lila's family members. She said she looking for salvation for her sister and brother and their children and we just pray right now for all those and her family members, Father, who don't know you. We pray, God, that you will deliver them out of darkness and translate them into the kingdom of your dear Son. We pray that you would send the perfect laborers across their path to share the good news of the gospel so that they will listen and understand it, Father, and then they will receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Father, we pray that you will continue to lead and guide them, Father, along the path each and every day, Father, and send the perfect laborers across their path. May you lead them and guide them into all truth, Father, and let them not be strayed from the wrong wrong doctrine, but give them the truth. Open up their eyes, for you said Jesus has came to set the captives free, and whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So we just ask, Father, that those who need salvation, that you would intervene on their behalf right now, and all those in the Philippines, Father, who don't know you. We claim them for the kingdom of God right now, Father, for you said where two or three are gathered together in your name, there you are in the midst of them. So we thank you right now, and we believe that you're in the midst of us, God, and we know that you hear our prayer. And this is the confidence that we have in you, that if we ask anything according to your will, that you hear us, so we believe that you hear this prayer right now, Father, and that your perfect will be done, and deliver them right now from the dangers of all those who may try to steal, kill, and destroy from their lives right now. And we just thank you and praise you, Father, for Lila and every person on this ministry line, Father. We ask your continued blessings upon them, Father, from this day forth and forevermore, and we Promise to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise tonight. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Sister Marilyn. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Marilyn. Welcome. Thank you. Hallelujah. Anybody else on the prayer line with a prayer request? Um, may I call on... Hello, Pastor Marina. Good evening. Hi, Sister Chit. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, let us pray for uh, uh, the um, for Nepal for the um, casualties, and also in the Philippines we have still we have a storm in the northern part, Cagayan, Cagayan in Cagayan region. Let's pray for the people there too. And, Hallelujah. Uh, and and uh, also let's pray for those who are sick. There's so many people who are affected by the allergies. So many. To oh yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's pray for that. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for Sister Cheat, and we want to lift up her prayer request for Nepal, um, those affected by the earthquake, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that, Lord, the survivors and even those affected, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you would bring people to help them, aid them, Lord God, um, heal the sick, Lord. Lord, we pray that you would provide provision or whatever that country needs, Lord God, to get back on their feet again, Lord. Lord, we also pray for um, the storm in the Philippines, in Cagayan, Lord God, that, Lord, you would protect the people, Lord God, let them be safe, Lord. And, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you would help them, Lord deliver them from the storm that is coming, <coughs> Lord. And, Lord, we also pray for those who are sick, who have allergies. 
Lord, that you would bring complete healing and restoration to your people, Lord God. Lord, tonight, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're our healer. You're our great physician, Lord. You're the one who heals us from every sickness, every infirmity, every disease, Lord God. We pray for wholeness, restoration, and healing for your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Claire. May I call on uh, 718-414-4928? Hi. Yes, this is, my name is Teresa. God bless. Hi, Teresa. Good evening. Good, thank you. Do you have any prayer requests? Yeah, um, just myself. Um, you know, I mean, I definitely have a lot for other people, but just, but right now, just for me, actually, I just need a just a touch from from our Lord, just a renewing. Amen. So, yeah, just myself and my my walk. Thank you. Is there anything yeah. else, Sister Teresa? Um, uh, my digesting system, my digestive system. I've been having a little bit of problems, but um, I'm actually, um, you know, they, they, uh, you know, I was on treatment, and then you know, so it's getting better. But that basically is more just my relationship with the Lord. I'm not backsliding, but just my relationship with God. I'm just, you know, just a little lost in certain areas. All right. So, May I call on it. Sister Chief? <laughs> Sister Chief, are you still on the line? Hello, Pastor Marina? Oh, hi, yes. Can we please lift up Teresa, uh, her relationship with the Lord, and at uh, that's from the Lord, uh, renewal. Okay. When, uh, she's, uh, she says that uh, renewal of commitment, is that how it is? Yes. Okay. And what else? Uh, she also has a digesting problem. But, but her main concern is her relationship with the Lord. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. You are so faithful. You are so true. You are Thank so you. awesome, Lord. Thank you so much for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your presence in this prayer line, Lord God. Thank you for tonight, Lord God, that once again we are on the air, Lord God. Father, bless one in this prayer line, Lord. Oh, God, let it be, Lord God, um, a message, Lord, to those places and uh, parts of the world that does not hear the gospel, Lord God. Father, I pray. I pray for Lisa, Lord God. I pray for her. I pray for her relationship with you, Lord that it will grow deeper and deeper, Lord, and you will reveal to her, Lord, in a mighty way, Lord God. You will touch her and give her the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord, you will use her mightily, Lord God. In the same way, Lord, I pray for her heart condition, Lord, that you will, Lord God, the God that heals, the God, Lord Jesus, the mighty doctor, Lord, that can touch our body and make us whole. I pray for Lisa, Lord Jesus that you will touch her body and make it whole. And I pray, O oh God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, that you touch her from head to toe and bring healing to her body right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for all those who are sick, Lord God, whether it be, Lord God, blood issues, Lord God, diabetic, Lord God, Jesus, O oh God, cancer, Lord God, Jesus, I bless pressure, Lord God, Jesus, Father, anything, oh God, that you are able to heal and to touch and make this body whole, Lord, I pray for each one in this prayer line that I speak at this moment, Lord. 
Father Almighty God. We men speak you, Lord God, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh God, Lord, that uh, your healing birth you come upon each one right now in the name of Jesus. And we believe by faith, Lord, that by your stripes we are healed, Lord God. Oh God, we are healed because you are the God that healed our bodies. You are the God that healed us, Lord Jesus. Nothing is too hard for you to do, Lord. So tonight, Lord, we ask you that you touch each one, Lord, that I speak. Touch Sister Lisa, Lord God. Father, oh God, let it be a testimony, Lord God, to glorify your name, to lift up your name in this prayer line, Lord, that to us we testify, my God, many souls will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. My God, oh Lord, you are faithful. Your love flows through us, Lord, and through your people, and let that love flow through this prayer line, Lord God. I lift up to you, Pastor Mal and Pastor Marina, Lord God. Bless them, O oh God. Go before them, O oh God. Keep them and watch over them. Protect them from any evil, O oh God, Lord. Father, I pray for this prayer line, Lord God. May it reach us to all parts of the world, Lord, that your gospel, O oh God, will be heard, Lord. That, Lord, you said that today, yet to those who receive him and to believe in you, Lord Jesus, to them you gave them the power to become children of God, Lord Jesus. Father Almighty, you said if we confess with, your mouth, with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, Lord, we will be saved, Lord. Because of your love for us, Lord God, you came down on us and died on the cross for us, Lord Jesus. And then, Lord God, you did not stay there on the cross, so oh, Father, and the third day you rose again from the dead. And Lord, the same Spirit, O oh God, that throws a oh God that quickens your spirit, the same Spirit, let it quicken, O oh God, all those who are in this prayer line right now, Lord, and put them on fire for you once again, O oh God, to proclaim the good news that Jesus Christ is risen and has overcome death, Lord God, that in you we have eternal life in heaven. And I thank you, Lord God, Father, bless each one in this prayer, and my God, Lord, oh, Father, whatever they're going through, all my brothers and sisters, Lord, you will meet them, oh God, at the point of their need, because you know them. You know each one, Lord God, and you will never forsake us. You will never abandon us. You will go for us. You will go wherever we go, Lord, because you are our Father who knows the needs of your people. And we thank you, Lord, in advance for what you have done and what you are going to do, Lord, tonight. Father, oh God, may when we meet, Lord, it will be a testimony, Lord, to glorify your name, to magnify your name, oh God. And I thank you, and I bless you, and I honor you, oh God, and whatever we shall do, Lord, it should be for your glory and honor, Lord. Bless this prayer line, Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Cynthia. Anybody else on the prayer line with a prayer request? Hi, Sister Marina. This is Hi, Sam. Sister Samantha. Go ahead. I am asking you if you can please pray for me. I'm getting attacked with the enemy. Uh -huh. He's telling me lies. And um, I'm seeing uh, like vision, which, which I um, I I don't know who, um where they coming from, and um, if you can please pray for me and also um for this um agency the my the boss name um, I apply to a new agency so so um if you can please pray that the Lord will give me favor with her. Um, that, that she will um, give me some work soon. And also for my daughter, my brother, um, and for my son and my mom, that they may come to know the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Maria. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. We come to you now, Lord, on behalf of the family of Sister Samantha, her 
daughter, her uh, son, her brother, even her mom. Lord God, that they may call upon you, Lord God, as their Savior and Lord, Lord. We pray, Lord, that they be delivered from every scheme and snare that the devil has used to hold them captive, Lord God. Let every stronghold of unbelief, Lord, be pulled and brought into captivity to the opening of Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you're working and active in their life, Lord calling them into your love and salvation, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray that you will send laborers to share the gospel with them, to minister your word to them in the power of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you will take care of this uh, family, Lord God, and that they may experience also the love, the true love of the Father and the Son and even the Holy Spirit. Father, we even pray, Lord, right now, as Sister Samantha focus her eyes upon you, Lord God, that all of her spiritual, physical, financial, and even emotional needs will be supplied by you, Lord God. Lord, you said in your word, Lord God, that you gave us life and that we might have it more abundantly. And you are our good shepherd, Lord God, who loves us and who takes care of us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for Sister Samantha, that her every need, Lord, will be accomplished as she focuses her eyes on you, Lord, and even her relationship with you, Lord God, that she will grow deeper and deeper in you, Lord God, and you will lead her the way, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. Thank you for showing her the way, Lord God, and... We continue, Lord, to lift her family, herself, Lord God, and everyone else, Lord, who needs you, who needs salvation, who needs their relationship, Lord, to be as you want us to do, Lord God. Lord, uh, we give you all the glory tonight. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Anybody uh, else on the me. prayer line? Yes, if I, if I can read it, I, I can have a cup. I got a thank praise you. report, and I want for some prayers. I, I, thanks for your prayer. My brother's doing much better. His lungs, and he's he's doing much happier. And if you could uh, uh, pray for me, I'd appreciate it. I have a, a sick stomach condition for over a month, stomach condition, and uh, my uncle's getting violent. I want to put him away, if God's will. And it's got to hear my right leg, the nerve pain. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Um, sister, <clears throat> sister Lai. Sister Marina. Yeah, can you please lift up uh, Sister Rita, her uncle who is um, being difficult, mm. and. Also, Sister Rita, about her uh, diabetes and about the pain in her joint. All right. Okay. In the, the legs or feet. Mm-hmm. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for uh, uh, being Sister Rita tonight in the prayer line. Lord, we would like to leave you, her up to you, her prayer request. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for uh, the bro- her brother who is uh, doing better now, as she said, Lord. Uh, thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, we pray for Sister Rita's uh, diabetes, Lord God. Please control the, control the diabetes, Lord. 
help her uh, to reg regain more strength every day, Lord God. The pain in her right leg, Lord, please him, uh, touch her right leg, oh God, where the pain is, Lord, and take take the pain away. Lord, have mercy upon Sister Rita. May she walk normally again. And and please um, give her the jo your joy, oh God, and the happiness and good health in, in her life, Lord. We lift you up, his uncle, who is getting uh, violent and is difficult to uh, take good care, Lord God. Lord, uh, if whoever is taking care of his uncle, Lord, please give pati more patience, O oh God. Please give him your love so he can endure the pain of of taking care of the the on of an old man, Lord God. Have mercy and please give give them clarity of mind. And the old man, the uncle, Lord God, have mercy upon him, Lord. Please give him the 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 calm the calmness, Lord. Calm in his spirit, Lord God. May he give may you give him a a, a good night's sleep, Lord God, so he, he can recover from the restless nights that he had in the past. Thank you, Lord, for for your sustaining uh, power and grace for Sister Rita and her loved ones. We praise you, Lord, and we'll give you all the praise and worship and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you very much. That was a very beautiful prayer. I'm very grateful. Thank God you. bless you, Sister Rita. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello, Pastor Marina. Pastor Marina. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, I was mute. <laughs> um, go ahead, Sister Lai. Do you have something to say? Or let's uh, tonight. I would like to share, oh, we would like to ask for prayer, traveling mercies for Pastor Madge. He is going uh, uh, to uh, South Carolina or North Carolina tomorrow Lord, for two weeks. Please pray for his uh, safety. Thank you. Amen. Anybody else want to pray? Who? Is Rita, you want to pray oh, for sure. uh, I had a, I had a subway traveling to mercy? Traveling mercy? For, for, okay, yes. I had a sub subway for me to take a pill. A traveling mercy for who now? Who is that? For uh, Brother Mads. He's going to Carolina. Oh, Brother Mike? Mads. Mads. Brother Man? A D Z, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh Lord, well, yeah, I asked for uh, traveling mercies for a uh, brother man's sent angels to protect him on his way. If he's driving to the driving forum, if he's in a plane, protect them with angels and a plane a train, protect them with angels. Let peace come upon them and no de danger. Let him have a good vacation and a good sleep wherever he's going, whatever he's doing. Let your peace be with him and let let him realize it. Bring someone he can witness to, Lord. I ask for a great uh, help in all his needs, mentally, emotionally, financially, and take care of him. Give him a financial blessing. And let peace and joy come with him on this trip, Lord. And I ask for your special, special protection, Lord. From the 91st Psalm and the 34th Psalm. This I ask in Jesus' name. Your son has said, but if we ask in his name, you'll give us. I stand that promise. Thank you, praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Rita. Sister Lai, can you uh, render a song for our evangelist Mike for his wedding anniversary? Oh, wedding anniversary. Any song? Um, 
Oh, what is song and sweet hour of prayer. Okay. Sweet hour of prayer for the anniversary of Evangelist Night. Sweet hour of prayer. Sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my father's truth make all my wants and make all their wants and wishes known in seasons of distress and grief our souls often found relief and of escape the tempters near by thy return sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer Sweet hour of prayer, thy wings shall my petition bear to him whose truth and faithfulness engage the waiting soul to bliss and since he bids me seek his face believe his word and trust his grace our cause on him our every care and wait for thee sweet hour of prayer amen Amen. 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 I thank you so much for that. <laughs> Amen. Happy anniversary. God bless you. Thank all. you. Amen. Make call on. Thank you, Evangelist. You're welcome. May I call on uh, Sister Claire to pray for all the intercessors and all, even the silent listeners. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for every prayer intercessor, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for using them mightily to lift up the needs. And, Lord, pray on behalf of your people, Lord, to stand in the gap for them, Lord. We lift up to you, Lord, Sister Marilyn. Thank you, Lord, for her life, Lord. And, Lord, continue to use her as your prayer intercessor as she prays for those in need, Lord God. Lord, we pray for Sister Lila that you would use her to sing for your glory and for your honor. We pray for Sister Cheat and the nursing home ministry and the children's ministry that, Lord, you would continue to use her to minister to your people, Lord God, that even in the nursing homes, Lord, the seniors will come to salvation, Lord God. Lord, Lord we also pray for... Sister Teresa, Lord God, that, Lord, continue, Lord God, to draw her closer to you, Lord God, to deepen her relationship with you, Lord God. Lord, we pray for Sister Cynthia. Thank you, Lord, for her preaching every Monday, Lord, to lead us into your truth, Lord God. Lord, we also pray for Sister Rita that you continue to use her where she is, Lord God, to minister to the people in her life, Lord. And, Lord, continue to bring complete healing and restoration to her. Lord, we also pray for Sister Samantha that, Lord, you continue to use her as a light in her family, that they may come to salvation, Lord. And, Lord, also give her favor in her workplace, Lord. And, Lord, we also pray for every silent listener listening to this broadcast that, Lord, the word has touched them, Lord, and, Lord, they've heard from you, Lord God, through the word that they heard tonight, Lord. And, Lord, we also pray, Lord God, that 
each prayer request tonight, Lord, that has been lifted up, Lord God, that you would answer each one of them, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that this broadcast has blessed your people tonight, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that as the answers come to the prayers, Lord God, you would have a praise report and a testimony to share with your people, to encourage them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. May amen. I call an evangelist uh, for a encouragement? Yes, yes, yes. You know, God is such an awesome God. He's worthy to be praised. We just keep our eyes focused on the Lord, and He will guide us because our lamp, the words, there's a lamp into our feet. And he will guide us through his word and by his leading of his Holy Ghost. And you can't go wrong by having a daily relationship with him. Because you never know when our last day will be. Because death takes no vacation. So you Amen. never know. Never know, folks. You know, uh, the rapture could happen at any time. But people are getting raptured out every Every night, a lot of people go to bed and they don't wake up, or they get into car wrecks unexpectedly, or they fall over dead in a chair. You never know when your last breath will be, so you need to take every wakening moment as your last moment by serving Him, Jesus Christ. That's all. Amen. Thank you, Evangelist. Amen. You're welcome. May I call on Sister Cynthia. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So, um, the prayer for us to close up? Yes, uh, Iba, uh, Sister Cynthia. Hallelujah. hallelujah, 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 and glory to our God, the one true and only God, the living God. Heavenly Father, what a joy again it is to come. Your people have come before you. We thank you, O God, that we are your people. We thank you, O God, for salvation. We thank you for your grace that abounds in our lives that keeps us going. We thank you, O God, that we are not amongst those who will go back. We thank you, O God, that daily, daily we are joined nearer and nearer to Calvary. We thank you again, O God, for your grace that helps us to maintain that relationship with your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Oh, Lord, we thank you. And we thank you for all the benefits that come through the relationship with our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so tonight, Father, the needs are many. Tonight we've had reports. And we thank you because your word let us know that we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. We thank you, O oh God, that your word still holds. We have this assurance. We have the confidence that anything we ask in his name, he will grant it as long as it is in his will. And it is in your will, good Father, that we, if we are sick, that we are healed. That if we are having problems with our stomach, that we be delivered. Oh, I pray tonight a touch upon our sister with yes, such sir. a case. Deliver her, oh God, I pray. Lord and Lord Jesus, when you came and you translated us into your kingdom, in your kingdom there is no more poverty, there is no more shame. There is no need and no lack. Whatever it is, you provide for your children daily. And so tonight we are thanking you, even if we have not yet seen it, for every need expressed on this prayer line tonight. We are thanking you. We are believing you. We are trusting you that you will meet it because you are able to meet it. And we say thank you, Lord, for doing this. We thank you for a good report of your daughter, Lord, concerning her brother and Amen. his long situation. We thank you that we have not prayed unto deaf ears. 
your air is not deaf, nor is your arm shortened, that you have no more power. All power belongs to you, O God. And so, Father God, we know, too, that that situation with her leg, with her nerve in her leg, will be reversed in Jesus' name, because she is one of yours, O God. And you have promised that we should be in good health as our soul process. So tonight, that which has been started will be completed in Jesus' name. And so we want to just thank you again for the privilege, O oh God, as we come in some in desperation, some in need, some thirsty, some dry, whatever. We have come to the fountain of living waters. We have come, O oh God, that we thirst no more. Like the woman at the well, we would thirst no more. If only we drink from the fountain of life, which is in your word, O oh God. And so tonight we pray that you would draw us nearer, 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 nearer to Calvary, nearer by reading your word ever the more. Put that longing into our hearts, O oh God, to read your word, to hear from you. And so that we be ever ready, every one of us, O oh Lord, my God. Today has been a good day. We have been blessed with your breath. We have been blessed with no problems. Even me with a little touch on my stomach. I know that you are there. You have already cleared it out for me. And I know when I leave this prayer line, I am fine. Because just being in your presence with your people, two or more are gathered unto you. Holy Spirit, you are here. You're here to deliver. You're here to heal. You're here to set free. And so I thank you, O oh God. We thank you tonight. We praise you always, and we will bless you. All adoration is yours, O oh God. All praise, all honor is yours, O oh God. We love you. We love you, Lord Jesus. Tonight we love you. And as we say, thank you. Thank you, thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Cynthia. On behalf of Glory, Tabernacle Healing, and Deliverance Prayer Line, together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry, we bid you good night. God bless you all until we meet again on Wednesday. Tomorrow is in Tagalog language, and let's worship the Lord. <laughs>